I have so much to do right now. I feel like a deer in the headlights. I don't know where to dart to next. Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Raquel and I typically film home and lifestyle videos living in Pennsylvania. I'm a first time mom and I like to share tips and tricks along the way. I'm not a travel vlogger, but the next couple videos will be travel related and I hope that you can find something in them that will be helpful for you. Let's just be real, traveling, especially if you have a baby or multiple children, it is so much work, but hard does not mean bad and anything that makes really good memories is gonna take a lot of work, especially for the mom, right? In this video, I'm just gonna take you along as I get ready, just all the things I need to do before this trip. And I'm also gonna give you some tips for packing light, like how I pack super light for this trip. And so, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy. So the first thing I need to tackle is this humongous load of laundry. We leave in one week, by the way. And I like to pack really early, like a week or more ahead of time. I know that sounds crazy, but I wanna do laundry right now and make sure that I have clean clothes and that they're packed away so that I don't accidentally use it before we go. And then I'll be like last minute scrambling through my dirty laundry to find something that I wanted to wear. So yeah. So I used to not wear shoes in the house, but my sister left these. So basically they're mine now. <laughs> Anyway, they're so comfy and they save my feet on really busy days. I officially wear these inside the house now. Thank you, bird. So even though I have 745 things that need to get done today, does that stop me from making a virgin mimosa? It doesn't. It's basically, I don't have a recipe, but it's like basically like Sprite, real orange juice, real lime juice, some pineapple juice, and some Sprite. Did I mention that? Anyway, I have some orange slices in there as well. It is so good. It tastes like, it tastes like I should be on a beach somewhere getting some rains, but alas, I am not. But anyway, check it out sometime. It'd be a tip of the drink to take to like a pool or something. Anyway, so I have this dress that I absolutely love and, but it's not nursing friendly. So I might just, I might just cut little slits in the bodice, obviously. <laughs> Where else would you cut it? Anyway, um, <laughs> sorry. And, um, <laughs> um, Make it nursing friendly. So, <laughs> okay, relax. Um, anyway, so wish me luck. You know that reel that's like, nobody's gonna know. And it's like, they're gonna know. That's what's happening right now. Okay, wish me luck. Oh, this is probably a terrible idea. I, I, I wear a top with it anyway, so it might cover whatever mistake I make, but it might also, it also might just fray. I'm not a seamstress and I don't know how, I, I just don't know how to do it besides cutting. If anything, if I completely ruin it, it can be a really nice skirt, I guess. And the dress is pretty cheap, so I ain't wasting money. Okay, mom, please don't watch this. Girl, don't do that. I did it. So one thing that I do that I recommend is to create several lists on your phone, like using your notes app or something that you always have for future reference. So I have some packing lists. I have a packing list for the baby and I have a packing list for Troy and I, and I also have a last minute grab list. And it's just super handy because um, I just keep it on my phone and obviously you have to tweak it and stuff. Depends where you're going, what you're doing, the weather, all that. Like we're going to Ireland and so it's gonna be a little bit chilly. So I'm gonna need a few more things I probably wouldn't otherwise need that are more, or even stuff that's more travel related. But overall, I get to save myself a headache of having to create a list every single time I go somewhere. It's especially handy if you know you go somewhere every single year or you go camping every year or there's multiple cabins that you go to or whatever it is, just to have a packing list on your phone that you just save. And so it saves you the headache of having to think about every last thing every single time. So I also write out the last minute grab list like on a big piece of paper in really bold letters and I put it on my fridge because you know how it is when like, it's an hour before you have to go somewhere and it's just like a lot going on. And this way Troy can help me remember to get stuff too. So one thing that's important to me when I leave is to clean my house before I go. Listen, it is so nice to come home to a, a clean and tidy house. I might not be able to have it just be 100% perfect, but at least come home, like it's just lovely to come home to a house that's like a haven. It's like beautiful and comfortable and clean. Even though it's gonna get destroyed three seconds after you get home. We all know that, right? With all your stuff and laundry and everything, but still, at least when you come in the house, it's like, ah, you know? But two, and probably most importantly, if I die on this trip, I don't want people to come to my house and be like, oh goodness. <laughs> she was kind of a slob. Am I the only person that thinks that those things? Am I the only person that thinks that way? I don't know, but like maybe that's pride. I don't know if it's pride, but like I always think about it. I'm like, okay, if I die on this trip, would I want my stuff just hanging out everywhere? Mm -mm. 
I'm gonna clean this up, okay? So that's what I'm doing today. I'm cleaning my house. Also, one thing I put on my last minute to-do list is empty the trash cans. And nobody likes coming home to a house that smells like a diaper, okay? So I empty all my trash cans in every single room. Make sure it's empty, because if there's something stank in there, it's not fun, okay? Everything just smells awful. So one tip I have, and I don't always get to do this, but especially when you're gone longer, oh, it's so nice. And that is to have a meal ready for when you're home, for when you get home. So I'm gonna make a double batch of food for supper, and then I'm just gonna freeze it, and I have it for when we get home. Because you're so tired when you get home, and it's just so nice to have something comfortable and delicious and homemade, and especially like when I travel, flying, or even road trips, whatever, I just get so like, Bloated. I think we eat more junk food and we just, well, you just feel kind of ugh, and you're tired. It's one last thing you have to do. So we are actually traveling pretty light on this trip. I'm just gonna have a backpack, Troy's gonna have a backpack, and then I have like a bag for the baby. We love traveling light. We don't do it every single time we go somewhere. Sometimes it's just, it's just nice to be able to throw things in a big suitcase and go and not worry about, you know, saving space and stuff. So it depends on what kind of trip you're taking, but we love traveling light a lot of the time, but there are so many benefits to traveling light. And I personally find it a challenge, like a fun challenge to see what all I can stick in my backpack and like really plan my outfits. You have to be pretty strategic because not everything's gonna fit, um, but there's, are, there's just benefits to traveling light. One, you don't have to pay for checked luggage. Two, your bag won't get lost because you're literally, you have the bag in the airport, you can stick it in the um, overhead or um, you know, at your feet or whatever. And so you can just get off the plane and go. You don't have to um, be waiting for bags and all that kind of stuff either. Especially if you're in a time crunch, that can really save you some of that stress there. Another thing is it saves you money. Not only don't you have to pay for checked baggage, but you also are limited to what you can take home with you from a trip. That's kind of a con, but it's also a pro as well because it saves you money. Like you can't just be out buying all this kind of stuff because you only have a backpack to go home in. So I love planning and coordinating our outfits for a trip because I'm only taking like three, maybe four dress, maybe four dresses if I can fit it in for the whole, t for the whole time. We have to do laundry when we're there, but that's fine. Um, I don't even know if I'll have room for four dresses, but that's, that's including the one I'm wearing, like to travel in. And that's another tip I have, is to wear your heaviest or your most bulky clothes while traveling anytime that you're flying because I will layer up because not only is the airplane super cold, but it saves you space and room or and weight in your backpack. So this trip, it's harder for us to stick things in a backpack because it's cold over there right now and versus going to a warm climate, it's so much easier packing light for a warm climate because like everything is, you just don't need as so much clothes. You just don't need as much, as much um, warm clothes and stuff. So this is gonna be kind of a challenge, but I'm kind of looking forward to it, so. So I'm having so much fun packing. It's late at night, and so I look kind of disheveled and gross, but so, but I'm just gonna show you some things that I'm gonna pack in my bag. One is charcoal. I always travel with charcoal tabs. There's so many uses for charcoal. The main one being, like if you drink bad water or eat, like, get food poisoning, drink charcoal. So TJ Maxx has these tiny little containers, I don't know if you can see it, tiny, tiny little containers. And I will put everything in, like this is lotion, and I'll just put, like we only need a little bit of lotion for a week. So I put everything, everything I can in tiny little containers. It saves so much space. Shampoo, um, you can, there's different sizes, but like shampoo, body wash. Um, another thing is I try, we, we share all the same stuff. Not toothbrushes, obviously, because that's gross. For us and the baby, I use like really clean natural products. And so across the board, like shampoo, lotion, all of that is like scent free and healthy. So even the baby can have it. I can't remember if I mentioned these, but sleep gels with the time zones and everything, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, I'm hoping I'll be able to sleep, but I'm gonna put these in like a little baggie. And I have a travel adapter for Ireland because otherwise I'll just blow up my electronics or start a fire or who knows what all. Um, this is a something that you put around your waist. You've probably seen these before, but it's like you can put your passport and your money or whatever around your waist or wherever you choose to hide it and under your shirt so that it's, it's easy to access, but it's also hidden. Um, this is my one thing that I'm hoping I can stick in. I, my sister-in-law gave me this journal. It's a travel journal. 
it's really thin and light, but, and it just, it's just this really neat travel journal. And I love, I love to journal, especially travel. So I'm hoping I can squeeze this in somewhere. This is kind of a luxury item because it's, I mean, as far luxury, meaning like I don't have space for it, but I'm hoping I can still somehow stick it in. This is a blow up travel pillow. Basically, I think through every single thing that I take along and I see, is there a way I can either buy a smaller version of it or put it into a smaller thing? Like everything I take. It's just fun for me. I enjoy doing that. This is a, like a reusable shopping bag um, because we are planning on like buying some groceries and doing some of our own like picnics and cooking and all that kind of stuff. Save some money and it's also a really cool cultural experience to go into their to go into grocery stores in another country. That's one of the, that's one of my favorite things about traveling. So um, yeah, tiny little tiny little grocery bag. It's also can use I also can use this as like my laundry bag. What else? Oh, this is a Joby. Uh, I'm not going to show you all my electronics or anything for the trip because it will bore most of y'all. But this is one thing that this is how we get our pictures of of us as a family or as a couple. This tripod, it's a Joby, and it will you can stick it on anything and it will like you can like curl its little legs on a branch or a bridge or whatever and you can set your camera up and takes good pictures of you so this is like such a valuable thing to have traveling and it's basically the only tripod i use for like i never take a big tripod along anywhere like it's just this i have laundry soap along because i'm gonna be doing laundry and just a little tiny bit. And I'm also taking spot remover because it's kind of a weird thing to take. It's the first time I've ever taken it traveling, but I want to because she has, she has nice clothes along and I don't want like a poop stain to stay permanently like in it. So let's see what else. An eye mask is a must for traveling, uh, for flying. Cut all, it's, we're flying at night. So um, I'm hoping to be able to sleep a little bit. I know like holding a baby, if I don't get, if I'm not able to get a bassinet, this is a water bottle. I'm sure you've seen these everywhere. Target has these in the summertime, and it just gets, it's like a, this little tiny um, water bottle that can expand. So that's kind of cool. Troy, both, Troy and I both have one that we take in our backpack. One thing I consider a travel essential is vacuum pack bags. Now you can just use garbage bags if you want. It's the same principle, but oh my goodness, it saves so much room. Um, your clothes do get a little wrinkly, but you just dampen them or throw them in the dryer, uh, hang them out, or, or iron them if you need to. But it's worth it for us, especially if we're traveling really, really light. So you can tell, but that's a pretty big difference. Um, it just, yeah. And also the bag helps your stuff not get wet or whatever too, so pretty cool. So one thing I am considering taking, I, I just don't know if I want to though, because it's so big and I have, I mean, I have no like fun luxury. I mean, I have no like big things along except for this, but this would actually work as a really good neck pillow too. But yeah, this is all obviously like a nursing pillow, but I was thinking I could also just have her sleep here. Like if, if, a, if a bassinet is not available, did I mention that that's for free by the way? Um, not every airline has offers a bassinet, but sometimes they do. Um, and also gives the parents more room, like more leg room, which is amazing for free. So anyway, but if, that, if that's not available, I was like, I still love a pillow for nursing. And so um, even like in the car or wherever we go, like this is, this is gonna be so nice to have along. So I'm hoping I can take it along. I hope I have room for it somewhere. Anyway, but she can also sleep on this on the plane. Like just my arms can just relax a little bit more if she's laying on this thing. And one tip is to not take all the pampers you're gonna need for the entire trip. I'm just taking enough to get by for the first day or two. And then I'm gonna buy my pampers there just because it saves so much room not to have to pack all the pampers needed for uh, for nine days. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, what else do I have? Her winter hat, a burp cloth, her, just a few outfits. I have extra outfits and stuff because, you know what, blow ups on planes are just something that's probably going to happen. So just roll with it. Make sure you have uh, plenty of wipes and I also have, I have her sound machine. I don't think I'm going to take it along though. I love this sound machine by the way. It's like a small tiny travel, it's a, it's a travel sound machine. but. Um, there's an app that you can just put right on your phone and so that saves me from having to take this. Okay, so I am taking a lot of like medicine, like natural medicine and oils and salves and that kind of stuff for her. I go all in when it comes to, um, I just don't want her to get sick traveling. 
okay? There's so many germs on the plane. There's so many germs everywhere. And I'm not necessarily a germophobic, but I also don't want a sick baby, okay? It's not fun. Traveling, the sick baby is never fun. But especially traveling in a different country, you're not familiar with everything. So that just sounds like stress to me. So I prefer to take what I need along, anything I possibly gonna need, and then I have it. Then I have it, and then my stress level will just be way down low if I, you know, if I have the stuff I need. I'm just that type of person. I am not minimal when it comes to medicine on trips. I saw a tip online is that her blankets or like her blankets or things that she sleeps with, don't wash it right before you go. So it has like her own familiar crib smell. And also, if you travel often and you do not use travel cubes, oh my goodness, it, this is just so nice. Everything I put, I, I have everything in travel cubes. My stuff, Troy stuff, it is so nice. This is like all of her clothes and just just all of her all of her stuff, all of her clothes is in this little cube and it just keeps things so organized. I'll have another cube for like her medicine stuff or like little pouches, one cube for like the diaper changing stuff. It is just so nice because you can just grab it and go. It's not, one of my hugest pet peeves is just stuff flopped in suitcases and bags that's not organized. Oh, I hate it so much. So, I think I'll always be pretty minimal when it comes to toys and kids because I don't like the thought of losing stuff all along the way, but who knows, I might change my mind. But for her, she's so small, she'll be entertained by like the tray and the window and everything else, everybody around her. But for some teethers and stuff, I did want to have, like I wanted to have something along. But, so two things is that I wanted them to be very, very light and also easy to sanitize. Like I wanted, to, I wanted to be able to, like I'm not taking like books and stuff because I wanted to be able to sanitize little tiny toys that I'm taking it along. Okay, I think that's it with the kids. Is there any other travel thing with kids? Let's see. I might, I should just do a video sometime of just ba I'm traveling with baby like hacks and stuff because I, um, like, you know, I, I just, I love the subject and um, I'm so excited to be able to travel with my kids. That's one of my my life dreams is be was to just be a mom that can travel with kids. I just love the idea, and I know it's gonna be so hard, but it'll be worth it, right? Right, 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 right. You're not gonna even remember this trip, though. That's so very sad, but I will. I'll remember it. So I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. I'm so grateful for their support of my channel. If you're not familiar with Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning community for creators. So if there's a specific skill you're trying to learn, Skillshare has thousands of inspiring classes online that you can watch or listen to. I personally love to listen to Skillshare um, when I'm on a walk or prepping dinner. There are no ads, which is really nice because you can kind of like zone in more to the classes. They have classes on music, um, blogging, entrepreneurship, business, film, video, cooking. I am personally loving a class on how to take professional photos with your iPhone, which I think is so interesting. I've learned so much already. So if you want to try out Skillshare, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in my description or use my code will get access to Skillshare for one month for free. Thank you, Skillshare, again for sponsoring today's video. Okay guys, I'm leaving you with one final tip before I end this very long video. And it's a weird tip, but one thing I do is I do not wait to the day that I'm traveling to do like extra, extra like grooming or whatever the word is. I'm not sure grooming sounds like a gross word, but um, like, I like to do like a face mask and you know, obviously shave, wash my hair, maybe do a pedicure, just look nice for a trip, right? And some of that stuff can just take a while. And so I just make sure that stuff, that is done like the day before, especially if I have to leave early for the airport in the morning or whatever. I just don't wait to the last day to do all that stuff. So that the day that I'm actually leaving is pretty relaxing. So that's it for this video. It was a very long video, but it was edited. Like half of it was taken out. So you're welcome for that because it would have been double the length. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still watching, you must be a faithful subscriber because ain't nobody got time for this long video. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.